last time on Tales of Zestiria. <laughs> I remember when he used to be my friend. When he used to give me names. Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome back to Tales of Zestiria. Oh my goodness, why do things have to get in between me and playing this game? Oh, hi. I forgot she was following us around. So once again, sorry this video is probably gonna be a little late, but um, for a lot of us, it's a very busy time of this curtain part of the year. So, <laughs> I'm quite busy. And along with that, I had to do a test stream because the last video I made, which was not Zysteria, um, I had to both re-record half the episode and edit the episode about three times through. I think racked up about nine hours of editing work, so it was a little ridiculous so I had to do that. So I had to make sure that that type of issue was not going to happen again. And I think it's fixed now, so that's good. One of the things you guys mentioned, though, is that the Earthen Historia, which is uh, the book that Lila was talking about, I believe, is actually the same book that we found in Berseria. The one that Lavaset deciphered and all that. That's pretty cool. I didn't remember that specifically because I didn't remember what it was called, but some neat things going on there. So next we have to stop by the Galahad Ruins. I have no idea where that is. I'm assuming just outside the city, <laughs> somewhere. So off we go after I do some shopping. I'm still baffled at how big of a difference that equipment we bought made. Perhaps it's just because of how shitty the equipment is that you start with, but in Berseria, it felt like no matter what equipment I bought, I never saw a physical difference because the enemies were always so difficult. Falkwin Hillside. Okay, what the hell? I have no idea where to go. No idea. Because normally, my logic would dictate follow the waterfall, but there's a waterfall over here, there's a waterfall up there, and there's literally mountains of waterfalls over there. I'm just going to assume that it's up there. This landscape makes no sense, though. Is that much water being dumped into the lake around the city? Wouldn't that cause a flood? Maybe I just don't understand nature. Maybe I just don't. Uh-oh. Focus, guys! Fluent when Armata- here it comes, Alicia! Remain calm, just attack it like you would any other creature. Oh, she doesn't- Alicia's never seen this before, she's like, what the hell is happening? <laughs> what did you do with Saray? You replaced him with this hot man. <laughs> Wait, while well, armatized and idle, press R2 to reform- Perform rejuvenation. Jeez. Hey, will you stop hitting me? Game, if you want me to do a thing, then tell your AI to stop hitting me. Oh yeah, those are those passive things we saw earlier. Okay, now let me destroy them. What a formidable opponent! I love how Alicia has not questioned that at all. She just saw us transform. She's like, what? <laughs> During armatization, while you're idle or otherwise not performing a combo, you can press R2 to cast Rejuvenation at the cost of one Blast Gauge. This takes only about one second to cast and results in exceptional healing, making it useful for emergencies and non-emergencies alike. Armatization can benefit everyone, not just you and your partner. Okay, well... Works out. <laughs> Surprised there wasn't a skit after that where Alicia's going like, what? Wait, 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 what? You, are you gonna explain that? And Saray's just like, nope. While armatized, press R2 during a three-hit combo to perform, preform a Banish Blast. Okay, I'll try it. Banish Blast. During armatization, hold down R2 in the middle of a combo and unleash a Banish Blast at the cost of one Blast Gauge. Performance varies by the Seraph, and because it requires charging, it can be risky. But you can combo off of it. Status effects from any arts following a Banish Blast are two times as likely to occur, and the lower the enemy's HP, the higher the damage. So that is literally the Blast Soul from Berseria, except you can't just throw it out whenever you want. It has to be mid-combo to do. And some of the Blast Soul requirements, um, were like that, but not all of them. Sunglasses. Oops, I was awesome again. Deal with it. God damn it. <laughs> Sorry. 
Sorry, we have to do this now. We have to do it so I can get out of my system. Alright, well, these appear to be these ruins. Although, I'm not sure if I could even... Wait, are these ruins, or is this just a burned city? This is just a burned city. I'm assuming the ruins are over there. I don't know what this has to do with anything plot-wise. It kind of does look like that city that, uh... Or that town that Eleanor was in at the end of Berseria, but... A lot of these towns have similar architecture. And that wouldn't make any sense, because those towns would have been years and years and years away, so... So many save points. I'm assuming that's because there are scary thing. Yeah, what the hell is that? Elements and status. There are five skills per group arranged with the following correlations. Attack non-elemental paralysis. Art attack fire burn. Defense earth slow. Art defense water poison. And focus wind fatigue. So for instance, a water-based serific art will have a poison status effect potential. Okay, well... I... don't trust that. At all. I'm gonna avoid you for now. You look terrifying. You know that there's only, like, when there's only one enemy in an entire field that looks like that, that I shouldn't be touching that. Come here, pupper. He's not even hostile. That's even more scary. Mana Grammar. Oh, Jesus. Why would they put you out in the middle of a field without saying anything? I mean, sure, they put a save point right before him, but still. Like, it's weird that the characters don't even comment upon seeing it. They're just like, yep, that's a super boss right there standing in the middle of that field. Not important. Let's let's just walk by. Well, they don't even say that. It appears I found the ruins. I think. Galahad Ruins, yes. Found it. Can I burn this? Yes, I can. This is a Hellion. You okay? Sorry. I'm fine. Elements and status. Some martial arts have a chance of boosting your stats just by using them. Which arts are affected tends to be determined by the arts element, for instance. The art tiger blade being non-elemental will raise your attack. It's a good study. The, it's good to study the relationship between elements and stats. All this stuff I'll I can never sense remember. The ancient tongue. We're near one. Weaknesses and resistances. Weakness combos during armatization differ from those in a normal state. Regardless of the number of chained arts, the damage multiplier will continue until the damage gauge under the total damage runs out. Also, damage increases each time a different art of the same element is used. Thus, armatizing with weakness in mind, plus a variety of arts, will lead to devastating levels to, of a damage potential. So, that's why armatizing with different possible elements could be useful, but right now we only have Lila. So, no other possible elements to armatize at the moment. So, one thing I do want to clear up with you guys, I do see a lot of people going like, Did you get that ancient monolith back there? I'm pretty sure you missed it. Um, so guys, just sometimes I will not show me grabbing the ancient monolith if the, if the details that the monolith tells me are too insignificant. Like, for example, this one I just walked past, it just tells me about targeting. A lot of the things this game wants to tell me is things I already know from Berseria. And the series is kind of set up in a way that... Well, most people from Berseria already know what's going on. Mango Sorbet. Well, I guess that means now people will start making me sorbets. I just imagine everyone following Saray like in chef outfits, cooking while we're running. <laughs> grade. Grade is awarded after each battle. You'll get more grade if your fighting style is particularly flashy. In areas where the Lord of the Land is unlocked, earning grade will increase the blessing level, eventually awarding you further boons. A bow? What? A bow? A bow. It looks like it's just ceremonial. Which is perfect for me. This bow is a divine artifact. A what? Oh, right. Hold on. Okay, I can't take these sunglasses. Like, this is my problem with Tails accessories. People always wonder, like, why don't you just go nuts and put them all over the place? It's because, like, I want to be able to take some of the scenes seriously. And just having sunglasses on everyone is already kind of like, uh. So if this bow is a divine artifact, what does that mean? A divine artifact determines the form the Armatus will take. Essentially, it serves as a model for the Armatus. A model for the Armatus? Oh, yeah, like Lila's Sacred Blade. 
The Sacred Blade of Lady Lake is also a divine artifact. Huh, and that's why your Armatus is a sword. Hey, does this mean that I can use your Sacred Blade to armatize with other Seraphim as well? Well, that depends on the circumstances. First, as I mentioned earlier, just as I am the Prime Lord of you, the Shepherd, they would have to become my Sublord in turn. What exactly is a Sublord? Put simply, it is the title for one who assists Saray while working under the influence of my power. <sighs> Consider the elemental property of the Divine Artifact. Each Seraph has their own unique element that falls under their control. Mine, for instance, is fire. So if the Divine Artifacts all have their own elements, does that mean a Seraph can't armatize with it if their element is different? Indeed it does. It would appear this bow's element is water. I can tell that because it's blue. At least that's my guess. And Miklio is a water seraph. Let's go! Huh? Saray does not wish to make Miklio his sublord. Why not? It's no different than when I was made a squire. But you called on the shepherd's power in order to achieve your dream. Isn't that right? Miklio is different. I'm not sure I'm quite getting Saray right now. I love how it shows him, like, picking up the bow, and it's still here. <laughs> or at least he touched it. Found a new discovery point, Altar of the Bow. Saray, there's something written on the arrow pedestal. It looks like ancient tongue. Oh, show me! Um... Don't walk off with relics and other junk you find in the ruins, okay? And no breaking stuff. <laughs> on the other hand, treasure chests are fair game. So go nuts. Very lighthearted, these ancients. I'm not so sure. The distinction between academic research and crass looting can be very fine indeed. Perhaps their buried message is contemplate always the true intent of your actions? Now you're taking it too far in the other direction. Nothing wrong with interpreting it that way. <laughs> but I'm thinking this might just be a joke the ancients left for us. Indeed. Ruins are made by people just like us, so it only makes sense for them to reflect human nature. Quite profound. That's what we like about you, Alicia. Your, uh, sincerity. <laughs> Hi, Alicia, do you want to talk about something? You said there's a waterfall deep in the ruins. Yes, the falls with- wait, the falls with the holy water are in the furthest location from the entrance. But we should be wary of whatever it was that attacked those soldiers. Be on the lookout. I don't think we've checked that monolith out yet. Quick step. Using square plus L to quick step backwards allows you to evade sideways attacks. As when you dodge top-down attacks with a sidestep, this also counts as a quick evade. If an enemy look attack looks diagonal, in most cases it can be dodged with a backstep. I will keep that in mind, Ancient Stone. What the hell is that? Oh, that's an enemy, the hell? <laughs> I was like, what is that thing under Alicia's foot? The ruins are calling me. Uh, this may just be a bug, but I'm noticing that it's starting to... It has started to repeat some of the tips it's given me. I don't know why, but it's repeating a lot of them. Blast charge. Defend for 1.5 or more seconds and BG increases. Sounds great. Character change. Oh, that's why I couldn't do it. I didn't have the thing equipped. Oh, save point, finally. Oh no, a save point. <laughs> It's one of those worrying feelings, because I haven't really had to fight any... Well, I've fought bosses in this game before, but no real bosses, I'd say. Like, nothing that has pushed me to a point in where I'm like, oh shit, I can't do this. Like, I think that first time for me was Oscar and Berseria. Careful! Yes. <laughs> what? What are you doing, Alicia? What even was that? Be careful. So Alicia just starts throwing fire around everywhere. Like, I'll get him, Saray. W where? Uh, above! I can see it. Don't. It's poisonous. Stop. <laughs> yeah, this communication thing is... Okay. That was me, Oma! Oh, okay. 
So I remember in Berseria, you guys were saying that Zestiria is really interesting because it emphasizes some of the communication problems between um, Seraphim or Malachim and humans. And that's kind of evident here where it's like Lila's trying to give a tip to Alicia and she can't like notify her very quickly. So can be detrimental that Saray He's a good mediator. They're resistant to fire. This is not good. There are a lot of things that are good. This is not one of them. They keep knocking me out of doing anything. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. There we go. My controller's acting up like crazy right now. I don't know what's going on. Oh, Alicia! What are you doing? You're gonna die like that. Don't do that. Here, have an apple gel. If you can even down that before you... No, then you can. Alicia, I don't know what you're doing over there alone. Aside from dying, I guess. Oh my lord. Please stop. Please, I just want to save her. I just want to save her. Sorry for the trouble. Apple gel myself. Lolo, she's important. I'm important too. Oh no. Get away. Oh my goodness, that was difficult. There's still so many of them. Yeah, because they're all resistant to fire. Only Miklio were here. Hey, look, it's Miklio! <laughs> Miklio! You couldn't have timed that bet, sir. Lila, let me become your sublord. Are you sure about this? Wait, hold on now! You're right. I am stubborn as a rock. Huh? I admit it. I'm hellbent on becoming a sublord. But there's something important that you don't understand. I do understand. I just didn't want you to get involved. Get over yourself. <sighs> Do you really think? See, uh, I think that really demonstrates how bad it can get. Because <laughs> they all have uh, something that's, I'm not sure if it's unique to this game, because I haven't played Exilion forever, but their facial animations are very important. Very, very important. This is your dream alone? <sighs> Saray, do as Miklio says! You can hear him too? This is our dream. Now, Lila! Very well. Oh my god, this cutscene looks so stupid oh, with those sunglasses on. I can't get Miklio. over it. Lila. Here let our path be forged, that my unquavering incandescence may be as thy purification. Is that of you flying? Let this burden recite aloud your etc. Etc? Now for the Armatis. Miklio, give Saray your true name! He already knows. You bet I do. Oh my! <laughs> Here we go, Miklio! Let's end this. Can we armatize with Miklio now? Leave it to yes! Me. Even though it's against a bunch of random centipedes that are... not really relevant. Oh, we get to use a bow. Cool. But how do I how do I move? Wait. Hold on, what? Is Alicia linked with Lila now? Lila, please revive her. I can't even see what's happening. Alright. I'm counting on you. I would love to show you guys the cool combos that I'm doing. If I'm doing any. I can't really see. Let's get him! Leave it to me, Alicia! Oh, jeez. She's falling over dead like every five seconds. Blue flurry. Oh, no, no. stop. They aren't even flinching. Oh, there we go. Spirit cleansing. Elixir Blue flurry. 
I can't even move. Oh my god, this camera. Holy shit, this gets bad. This is bad. Watch your health. This gets really bad. I can't even, like, I don't have enough time to stand still here. Spirit cleansing. Burst. Break down. Wait, can they not kill us for some reason? Blue flurry. Break down. Break on through. Burst. I don't really know what's going on anymore. You know, I'm not gonna risk it. Wow, that was amazing, you two. I couldn't even tell what was happening. Oh, were you able to remove it? Now that you mention it, it just came off. I wonder why. Does it does it really matter? Besides, this means that I can now use the armatus at will, right? Lost those training wheels. Look at you. Shut up. Makes sense. So, that's why you couldn't take it off before. Nicleo, I wanted to say... Don't thank me. After all, I merely did this for my own dream. I know that. I feel oddly envious. Those are two straight men right there. Yep. Isn't that right, Lila? <laughs> Agreed. Alicia, don't tell me! Yes. Not only can I hear your voice, I can see you now. No way! You can see Seraphim now? I think it just goes to show how strong you've already gotten. <laughs> Maybe we do have a fighting chance against this Lord of Calamity. Saray. Lila. Miklio. Please accept my sincerest gratitude for saving me. It was nothing, I assure you. But you're welcome. I thought we weren't supposed to be thanking you. Why are all of you wearing these dumb fucking sunglasses? They're cool, right guys? You told us to wear them, so we, we went along with it. They're really kind of dumb looking though, sorry, sir. <laughs> Guess there's no need to worry. Alright, the waterfall is just up ahead. Party lineup. When Shepard's ready the power of purification for battle, Seraphim 2 can access the power if they have a human to channel it through. When Saray is the sole human in the party, only one Seraph may join him in battle, but if a human squire joins him, an additional Seraph may also join. When armatized, press L1 again to cancel armatization. So we can now armatize with Miklio. Cool. Yeah, and one of you guys did keep telling me, and I keep forgetting about it, is that there's an option, I guess, to move the camera back? Or something, or some such. Is that a monolith? Dropped items. The first enemy you defeat in the battle will have a two times chance of dropping items. If you seek a certain piece of equipment, use the command focus attacks to target enemies that drop them. Oh, that's a neat little tip. You know, all these things keep increasing our AP, yet I don't even have nearly enough skills to fill out my AP whatsoever. Quick banish. Uh, armatized, when foe is stunned, banish blast can be used at very high speed. Sure. High speed armatization. Yeah, I want to become stronger as a Seraph. You have more than enough talent for it. Don't push yourself too hard. When the going gets tough. Sometime in the future, you'll likely encounter enemies that seem far too tough to defeat. Nope, I already encountered that new one shot at me. You may need to level up against such enemies, but it's equally useful to review the knowledge you've gained up till now. You may already hold the key to defeating these formidable foes. Yeah, it's called not fighting in a hallway. All right, at least it's nice to have a total of four people, even if it comes down to nearly having three people at all times, because I'm armatized like 80% of the fight, but... Hmm, still looks plenty pure to me. Hey, Miklio, do you think you can freeze this water? Mechanics! Oh, yeah, don't see why not. Then freeze it, and let us bring it back to the sanctuary. Ice is highly resistant to being corrupted by malevolence. Very well. I'll give it a try. Whoa. Thank you very much. That should suffice. Now, before this melts, we'd better take care of our other problem. Other problem? <gasps> Wait, who is that?
It looks kind of like Lafacette's hair, but that wouldn't make any sense. Kind of like our tour. Oh no, that's someone. Is that someone writing the Earth in Historia? Lila, what was that? The Earth in Historia. It finally reacted to something. So that was something real from the past. Did you see that, Mikleo? He was writing the celestial record. Oh, never mind. He was writing the celestial yeah, record. That must Different. have been the author. <laughs> there are more Earth in Historia where this came from. If we obtain them, surely we can obtain more information about the past. Oh man, this is too sweet. <laughs> this is only the beginning. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay, from the thing you guys told me, I was sure that the Earth and Historia was that book we found. It's it's confusing if that book was the Celestial Record or the Earth and Historia, or if the Earth and Historia is just this orb or what. <laughs> I'm a little confused on that now. Don't get so worked up, or you'll just wear yourself out. Right. Whoa, <laughs> He's burning up. This is a result of the pact we made with Miklio. He'll get better after some rest at the inn. I'll carry him back. If we want to cool him down, I guess I better make some more ice. I expected to get like a new party member I didn't know about, but Miklio's fine. <laughs> I'm really excited to see who else we meet though. And like His fever what else? has gone down. I'm surprised it only took him one day to recover. It took three when he forged the pact with me. He's definitely got natural ability as a shepherd. Miklio. Oh, thanks for helping with the letters, by the way. I caught up with everyone I needed to. It's okay. I rather enjoy writing letters. Oh, so she was leaving letters behind for Miklio. That's what she was doing. <sighs> Are you awake? I... What well, of you guys made her out to be some sort of, like, weird purification terrorist. And you're like, she's leaving those all behind so she can burn them and burn the buildings where they reside. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. I must have fainted again. Sorry. You gave me quite a backache. <laughs> you looked like you were floating. I told the innkeeper you were just doing some sort of magic trick. <laughs> well, I never was any good at lying anyways. Don't overexert yourself. You still need to rest. I'll be fine. We gotta find the Lord of the Land and someone to pray at the sanctuary before the ice melts. Uh, but... The Shepherd has spoken. <laughs> Is it not the duty of the Prime Lord, Sublord, and Squire to follow him? Got Red Iris Gym. Cool. There you go. Now eat up before it melts. Oh, a fruit frappe. The arrangement is beautiful. Just what I'd expect from a water, Sarah. Something like this would be beyond me. But Lila, you make sweets too, right? Well, yes. I'm good at baking, but don't work well with cold things. Oh, I see. So Lila is good with baking because she's a seraph of fire, and Miklio is good with cool sweets because he's a seraph of water. Even seraphim have strong points and weak points. It's true. I'm really no good at baking. I'll say, that one time when you tried to cook boar meat, you turned the heat up way too high and burnt it black as coal. We were both little kids then. And besides, it only happened because you didn't make the fire- Uh, guys, talking is fine and all, but if you don't eat, it's going to melt. Oh, oh shoot! shoot. <laughs> it's the bureaucrats that really run Highland these days, led by Chancellor Bardlow. The royal family are just there for pagan tree these days. Pageantry, not pagan tree, they're not pagans. <laughs> Fish and chips. Best meal ever, although we're kind of strapped for cash. So, whatever, I'm just doing this for skits anyways. Travel can be strenuous at times, but overall, I'm enjoying it. Oh, right. You spent all those years living in the Sacred Blade. This must be your first time out and about in a long while. Indeed. And is this your first long journey? Yeah, for both me and Saray. It's a relief to have companions on the road. I'm looking forward to working with you as the Sublord. My pleasure. I look forward to eating your sandwiches. Is that really what the Sublord does? Ha, I tricked you! You're now my sandwich slave. <laughs> Dependable comrades are to be cherished. I'm glad that you two joined up with us. Especially Alicia. Saray's always been a lone human among Seraphim. It's a blessing to have her around. He seems like he was brought up with a lot of love, regardless of his surroundings. I won't deny that. But I also have no doubt that there are things only humans can understand. That only humans can see. And he missed out on all of that. Miklio. Uh, 
Please don't tell Suri I said anything. Of course. It will remain a secret between the Prime and Sublord. Wait, I wonder, does that mean that Miklio could have his own sublord? Making the next position as sub sublord, and if a fourth one, a sub sub sublord? I mean, it seems like they'd all have to be attached to the prime lord, or else that would make any sense for naming conventions at all. That grilled sweet fish was so delicious, but all they did was just grill it with some salt. Does that even count as cooking? True enough, all they did was grill it. But that exquisite salt seasoning and tender fish it brought all the flavor out to the forefront. Wait a minute, hold on. That was just for this one thing I ate. Does this mean that every single food in the game, at least sold at inns, has their own skit attached to it? The quality of the dish is entirely based on whether or not the flavor was brought out of the ingredients. Therefore, this grilled sweet fish is indeed well prepared. You're right! I wasn't thinking about it while eating, but this dish has much more depth to it than I thought. Yes, and the sweet fish is a specialty of the Lady Lake region, known for its abundance of clear water. That proves that our ancestors and the Seraphim protected this place. I want to protect this beautiful nature for our future generations. Okay then, well now that we're done here, we need to head out and... And, uh... What were we doing? Search for a Seraph who will become Lord of the Land. And search for Father Bruner. Hold on, first I have to go shopping. You know what, in Berseria, our party members didn't do anything while running. It was hard to get them to do one thing. In this game, Saray is literally running a mobile bakery slash subway as he runs across the world. <laughs> oh great Seraphim, whose blessings yet dwell in this land, turn thine ears to our prayers. Thank you so much, Father Brunor. Thanks to you, my son's legs have healed considerably. No need to thank me. It is your diligent prayer that has made the difference. Be steadfast and pure in mind and spirit as you continue to pray for the health of your son. Hmm? A contribution to the sanctuary. I told you before, madam. I'm afraid I can't possibly... Please accept it. There's something I've realized. Merely praying for help is an offense to the Seraphim. It is a selfish act for personal gain. Who told you such a thing? Well, no one in particular. You'll need money to pay for your son's treatment, won't you? Use this towards that end instead, for the sake of your son. My son feels the same as I do. Everyone says the same thing. His wounds were punishment for his selfish prayers. <sighs> and... There are even those who spread vicious rumors about myself and you, Father Brunor. Please, I beg of you, accept this so that we might be saved. What are the Seraphim gonna do with money? That doesn't make any sense. Are they gonna see her kindness and charity and heal them? Like, Lila and Miklio, I don't think have anything to do with human monetary values. Uh, very well. I shall humbly accept your gift as a token of you and your son's gratitude. Oh, thank you so much. Now, perhaps these rumors will finally come to an end. May you receive the blessing of the Seraphim, Father. I'm not following this lady's logic whatsoever. Right, the blessing. Guess I'll buy a drink. <laughs> That's some priest. Princess! I'm here to ask a favor. Of me? What could I- We would like to ask you to enshrine and look after a new seraph in our town's sanctuary. This is a request from the shepherd. The shepherd? You mean this boy is the- <gasps> Forgive me. You are not to be blamed. It is the fault of the royal family that so many have strayed from the noble path. Excuse me, if I may? It's nice to meet you. My name's Saray. Huh? I'd like you to be the one to worship at the sanctuary for the protection of Lady Lake. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused by pulling the sacred blade so carelessly. I know I'm still a fledgling shepherd who hasn't gotten used to things yet, but I promise I will do my best. Yes, yes, of course. It's quite all right. Please, do not prostrate yourself so. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> this request comes from me as well. 
Please, help me so that I in turn may help this inexperienced but pure of heart shepherd. Of course. I am honored that I may possibly be of service to ones such as yourselves. Though I am frail of body, I shall perform the task at hand with the entirety of my spirit. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. My foot's asleep. Seriously? <laughs> That's the savior of our world, boys and girls. Well then, Father Brunor. When you're ready, I will come visit you again. As you wish. Do be careful. Well, that's one way to ask a favor, I guess. It was very Saray. Yes, <laughs> I think this helped the priest as well. Very Saray. I hope he'll be all right over there. He told me that with his proud look on his face that he wanted to show me he had what it takes to become a true knight. I don't love him just because he's a knight, though. I'm sure he'll be fine, and he totally won't die to invisible demon monsters. Well, what now? Search for a seraph who will become the lord of the land. The landlord. <laughs> Search for the seraph who will become the landlord. I don't know what I haven't even seen another seraph here. Does it think I'm just gonna stumble upon a seraph walking around in broad daylight? I am appreciative of the amount of time we're spending in this town, though. Um, we're really kind of taking our time here and exploring the location and, uh, getting to know some of the people around here, I guess I'd say. As we're in Berseria, because you're always wanted and you're kind of convicts and all that, you kind of have to breeze through a lot of the towns and then come back later and revisit a lot. And some of the towns you just never really get anything from. I can't tell if I'm just being an idiot right now and there's no marker, or what. I have searched everywhere in the city for this Seraph or whatever. I should probably talk to my party members about this, shouldn't I? I hope we don't meet any more powerful Hellions. Like the one in the Galahad Ruins, you mean? Indeed, I almost wish I could return to my ignorance of these foul beasts everywhere. Which reminds me, repairs are supposed to start soon on the bridge south of Lake Haven near Falcon Hillside. There will be large groups of workers gathering over there, and I fear they might make tantalizing victims for Hellions. Perhaps we ought to check on them and make sure they're all right, and just to be safe. Okay, I guess we'll head over there then. Thanks for the tip, Alicia. And hopefully that's where we actually have to go, and you're not just dragging me on a side tour to see construction workers get mauled by demons. And I'm still calling them demons, even though they're called Hellions now. I'll call them Hellions when I remember the fact that they're not demons. <laughs> so, south. There's a bridge that leads south of here, and it's being repaired. Is it that one? No, where is it? It said south of the city, but there's only one bridge here. Unless it's that little strip of land over there. Oh, I found it. Found the objective. Be mine. Eagles attack while retreating. So it's best to aim right after it attacks. I like the Cleo's bow a lot, actually, although it's kind of weird how I have to stand literally right in front of them. Oh, I can make little bubble mines. Cool. Kind of like what Mogler could do. Everyone okay? Whoa, there's a. Oh, it's a soldier. He actually has the star above his head as a quest marker. What happened? We're investigating the collapse of Grifflet Bridge. The cause may be flooding from the rains. It wasn't caused by rain. The current is odd considering the water level. I have a bad feeling about this. Wait, so can they hear everything Mickley or not Mickley, oh sorry. Can they hear everything that Saray is thinking, or is he does he have to consciously talk to them in his mind? You should evacuate. Finally, someone who's talking some sense. Who are you? Alright, do as Saray suggests. Saray? You can't possibly mean the shepherd. I show up wearing a shepherd's glove, have ceremonial shepherd's garb on me 24-7, and people are like, who's that guy? 
He just happens to look like a shepherd. <laughs> like, if he is, maybe he can stop the floods. You really think there's anything that can stop the water spirits' rampage? Water spirits? It's terrible. Destroyed the bridge in an instant. It's some sort of monster. Thanks, Yosuke. Silence! Enough with your nonsense! <laughs> Silence! Enough with your cowardice! Oh, mother of God, Zavid, please save me. What? The water spirit! It's a tornado snake. Run! Run, it's Sharknado! That's an order. Hurry! Or snake NATO. You know what? Just leave. What is it weak to? Nothing. Lord of Water! Does this thing really look like a person to them? An Ouroboros? Why is it in a place like this? To ordinary people, it probably looks like a huge water spout. It looks pretty strong. Careful of his rising coil attacks. It spins and plunges into you. Oh, did I actually just dearmatize? Whoops. And I can't armatize back. Nick Leo, armatize. Man, this thing has a lot of health. I don't really have a whole lot of options. Like, I have the mines I can use, which are good. Oh, did Lila just... Lila, no. I don't even... I don't even have that many life bottles, because you can't buy them at this point in the game, it seems. So I do have to be sort of careful with how I treat everyone health-wise. How about one of you guys heal me? Lila, you do it. Ow. This thing's really tanky for a snake. Infinite combo forever? I am watching my health, Mikleo. Wow, you can restore all your health as long as you have one gauge. It's insane. God damn it! I just, I just revived Lila, and now you go down. Uh oh, man! All the animations have such long recovery times on them. Uh oh, no! Back up! Back up! Back up! Oh no, Lila, Lila, please, not now. Lila, if you die right now, I'm gonna be so upset with you. Uh oh. Snack, please leave me be. I am out of life bottles and out of seraphim. I'm s oh, you can't eat food in battle. I didn't realize that. I don't feel so hot. Oh, at least there's a retry button. At least there's a retry button. I should probably kind of optimize everyone's equipment right now because I've been failing to. Kind of pay attention to this stuff. This okay, let's try this. With round two. This thing really look like a when you have party through. members, you can stun this snake forever. Break down. Break on through. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this whole armatization thing. Although it's still quite hard to break through a guarding enemy at times. Dodging still feels as good as it was in Berseria, though. Break on through. Burst. Ocean Burst. Ocean Burst. That was... This is so much easier. <laughs> I guess the the thing I was having problems with is in Berseria, a lot of your moves were very fast. They were very quick and fluent, and you could dodge out of them really easily. Here, that's not the case. You have to be really careful with what you use, because animations have very long recovery times. Gonna back off for a second. Snake, leave me alone. 
Oh, it knocked me out of that? Are you serious? There we go. So in this game, it is slightly different in the... Holy shit, leave me alone, Snack. It is slightly different in the matter of... You really need to wait on the enemy. I would say, and I didn't think it was possible, this game may be a little more passive than even Berseria was in combat. Okay, maybe not now. That was an accident. Oh, you can use armatization to bring yourself back to life. Please pick one. Okay. Oh, this one's blank. That means your spirit is pure and clean, like this paper. Oh, th thank you. She's gullible. Way too gullible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Mogalu did something like that with Lafacet. Where, um... I can't remember the skit, but Mogalu's like, Here, pick a card, Lafacet. I'm gonna tell your fortune or something like that. Or maybe she's trying to show him a magic trick. There's a lot of people who use that spirit paper in, uh... This universe. Switching Seraphim. You can change which with Seraphim to fight and armatize with you by using the D-pad. When using Seraphim, the D-pad changes which character you control. After switching characters, you'll need to wait a short time before you can switch again. Pressing L1 while armatize will return you to normal state. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to switch armatization... Uh, I was trying to switch armatization mid-combo during that last fight. I couldn't quite figure it out. What? Is that a Seraphim? The Hellion turned into a Seraph? It's the other way around. Hellions that are strong enough to manifest themselves are those that were once Seraphim. A Seraph can become a Hellion? And Seraphim that have completely turned into Hellions are known as... Dragons. Dragons? Those really exist? Can confirm, Soray. They exist. And they are quite disappointing. So, then the legends were true. You can tell, though, that he's not a party member because he has those dumb looking villager shoes. <laughs> so, the wrecking of the bridge was all, all my fault. I'm so ashamed. If you hadn't been here to purify me, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I'm really glad that we were able to save you. Um... I am Uno, young shepherd. Saray. Uno, in exchange for saving you, we would like to ask you a favor. Would you be willing to listen? Hmm? I would ask you to bless Lady Lake. But as things currently stand in that town... Lady Alicia, are you all right? I'm fine. The water spout has disappeared. See, I told you she'd be fine. Nothing can hurt our princess when she's got the shepherd at her side. Weren't you the one shaking in his boots earlier? Still, the rain has suddenly stopped, and the currents have come significantly. This, too, must be the power of the Shepherd. I always thought it was just a fairy tale. To think I'd see the friggin' Shepherd with my own eyes. Hey! Watch your language in front of the Shepherd. Like, wow, the Shepherd is so amazing! And in reality, it's Saray and Alicia doing, like, backflips and stabbing mid-air for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> and what is- does it even look like he changes when he armatizes? Does he transform, or does he just pop out of existence? <laughs> Since he's now, like, armatized with a Seraph, can people just no longer see him? It looked to me like, like the Shepherd just cut right through the water spout. I doubt anyone will believe me, though. Who cares? I'd rather believe in the miracles of the Shepherd. Friggin' water spirit can kiss my hairy butt! Hey, what happened to watching your language? So there are still people here who believe. Well, you did help me get back to my old self. Then can you help? I shall become the lord of the land for the domain of Lady Lake. Thank you, Uno. 
And you must be the Prime Lord? You've picked a fine shepherd. I sincerely hope that when we find the second one, their name is going to be Dose. <laughs> I agree. Let's go. Father Brunor is waiting for us. Who's that guy? Oh, it's the Cravat Man from earlier. Hold it right there, Cravat Fiend. That was a tough enemy. Let's prepare for our next battle. Thanks, Lila. You're always giving me medical surgery while we walk. I can sense the ancient tongue. Martial arts. Hitting a, by hitting a stun enemy with your initial martial art, you can increase your blast gauge one time only. In other words, if you stun an enemy in the middle of an attack, then cease the attack before restarting it with a martial art, you gain an increase in blast gauge. Be careful not to miss this chance by aimlessly chaining together attacks. Oh yeah, I forgot though. Alicia is mindlessly uh, reproducing life bottles for us, even if we can't buy them at the moment. So I have to thank her for that. Lila's on medicine duty, Miklio's on sandwich duty, and Alicia's on life bottle duty? I, I haven't seen her make anything else, so I can only assume that's all she's making right now. Melphis Amekia. That's my true name. It's surprising how you know the ancient tongue so well. Even in the larger cities, researchers are about the only ones who know how to speak it. I learned it so I can read the inscriptions I find in the ruins. I'm self-taught though, so I don't know how good I am. Could you tell me what my true name means? That is, if there isn't a problem. A problem? Well, if my name means something like Alicia the Tomboy or Reckless Princess, then I think I'd just rather not know. <laughs> no, it doesn't mean any of that. Melphis Amekia means Alicia the Smiling. Alicia the Smiling? When I return the royal knife to you, you look so happy. I hope I can see you smile like that again. And I'm sure you will, once you make your dreams a reality. Was there a problem with that? Oh, no. I'm just surprised. No one's ever said that to me with a straight face before. <laughs> I guess Saray's definitely the type to say things that way. Looks like it. Did I say something weird? Thank you, Saray. I'll be sure to cherish the true name you have given me. One of our party members is gonna have to, like, dislike Saray at this point. Because right now, everyone loves Saray. <laughs> and I don't have a problem with that, but I think it'd be some nice contrast. Oh, truly, this power is the stuff of miracles. Hmm, looks like he really can't sense us at all. I shall worship this sacred water with all my being. Oh, venerable Uno, I am yet inexperienced, but would that I could serve thee for all eternity. <laughs> but he is earnest. I'll at least give him that. Ah, so he's gonna make a domain here. What was that? I feel like a sort of wind just blew right through me. The blessing has returned to this town. This town is now under my domain. But in order to maintain the blessing, I will need cooperation from the people. Indeed. There are all kinds of methods besides prayer that one can use to uphold the blessing. It's interesting, because in uh, Berseria, the word bless- or not blessing. Domains came up a few times. Like, three or four times, I'd say. But it wasn't as well as it was emphasized here, as where it's kind of now dawning on me that, like, domains just like, Yep, this is my place. I leave this here, and I stay here a lot. And they seem to be bound to an object, or just the area in general. It's not the area around another Molochim, it's the area around in which they inhabit, I guess I'd say. Like? For example... I see. I'll be sure to give it a try. This sure sounds like a pain to me. I will do what little I can. Hmm? What's wrong? 
I can still feel a powerful malevolence. And it's not far off. It's somewhere in town. That's the royal palace. So this is a conversation with the Seraphim? A bunch of lunatics talking to themselves out loud? You are? I am a messenger from Chancellor Bartlow of the Highland Government. I have come to invite Saray to a private dinner conference in light of his great suffering for the sake of Lady Lake. Have you been watching over Saray? Not at all. In fact, I was quite surprised. That the Princess of Highland, as distant as her claim to the throne may be, would have relations with the Shepherd that are so... Intimate. You guys held hands. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm sure this news will please your beloved subjects to no end, your highness. If you are insinuating that... Alicia. Where to? Roundable Palace. Very well. Tell Bartlow I accept his proposal. Please, you mustn't get involved with the Chancellors. I can feel it from them. The malevolence does seem to be coming from them. I apologize for being so weak. Don't worry, it's true. We really do want to see what's going on at the palace. It'll be our first time. You'll have to be our guide. Just as you have been to me. Blessing for Lady Lake Region has been restored. Lords of the Land. It is now possible to access the Lord of the Land menu from save points in areas where the Lord of the Land has been unlocked. Fighting battles in those areas will raise the Blessing level dependent on the grade you receive. Grade will automatically count toward the Blessing level when you touch a save point. As the Blessing level goes up, you'll gain access to boons with various effects. Oh, what? <laughs> Landlord management. It's like Yakuza, <laughs> except with spirits. Save point travel. Spend gold to move between save points. You have previ- Yes, fast travel. <laughs> you previously visited. And fast travel is every save point, isn't it? Or not. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be every single one, but you know what? This is close enough. Set boons. Oh shit, I didn't read that. I'll read that again. Currently set Norman. That is a word I did not want to see. Oh boy, does that mean we're going to hire Normans too? <laughs> Lord of the Land, Boons. You can enable Boons to take effect within the Lord of the Land's domain, so long as you don't exceed the mass maximum Boon cost total. Boons largely have battle-related effects, raising the Blessing level will both add new Boons and increase the maximum Boon cost total. You can raise the Blessing level by earning grade in battle. Hellion Detection. Symbols will appear on the navigation map indicating Hellions. I don't need that. Traveler's Response. In an area where this boon is activated, you can spend gold to move between save points. Yes! Treasure Restoration. Leave treasure chests for some time after claiming them. The treasure inside, they will automatically refill new items. Yes! Offer items? I can just give him stuff for blessings? Oh my goodness, this costs a lot of items. This costs a lot, a lot. I don't know how much I'm gonna have to dive into this system, but at this current moment, leveling up is going to take a lot of money. Well, thank you, Uno. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. I'm very excited to start the next episode now that my priorities are finally done with. Seriously, it's hard to work when all you can think of is like the copy of Zysteria that you have nice sitting next to you. Oh, thanks, Mikleo. <laughs> I'll be here, like, writing an essay or writing a paper or somewhat, and then I stare over to my right, and I just see Zysteria. I'm like, I could record. Must resist urge. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Right now.